little stuffed animal and a little oh look at that little bitty shoe and a little a little stuffed bear dog thing can you see him ah one flew right by me <laughs> oh my god i hope you can see these bats look at that that is insane house says i can't tell if there's anybody that lives in them or not it looks like at one point it was a really nice house i just don't know if anybody lives there now Assalamu alaikum, bonjour, and a big howdy from the west side of Texas. I am out here, clear out here in the desert, way out in the middle of nothing out there. We've got the, got the interstate running through right out here. And uh, right on that other side of the interstate is a town that I talked about in a previous video back in the quarantine days when I came out and I took some pictures. Uh, I kind of wandered around a little bit. Uh, and I thought it would be fun if I took you guys into that town, kind of went around and looked at some stuff and got a little bit of a deeper look into it. And uh, so, yeah. Let's let's jump in the uh, the old road beast here, and let's go check out that town. It's looking pretty desolate still. Look coming over the railroad tracks. We've got. Uh, looks like they've torn some of this down. Some of it's falling down already. Last time I was here a few years ago, I don't remember it being that far gone, but I do remember the the cars not being burned. <laughs> so some stuff's gone on here. Oh look, we've got the uh, RV space. Ooh, and they've got an apartment for rent. Let's pull in. Maybe I'll find a place to live. Be cheap. What do you think, guys? Cardboard in the windows. With some particle board. I don't know. Looks like that's the empty one there on the end, and I can't tell. I'm having a hard time distinguishing if people live in some of these houses or not. And I don't mean to make fun, but some of these houses are very old, and, and what I do remember, people just kind of moved into these houses. Uh, here recently, the oil field picked up back out here, and people started moving back into this town because after about the 30s and 40s, this town was absolutely dead. I think this is one of the original churches from back then. I wonder if we can get in. Let's go take a look, shall we? Ooh, looks like there's a nice pretty lock on the door. Are there any, uh, are there any windows broken out? No, but look at the stained glass windows. It's a really pretty one. The light shines in through the other way. It's definitely old. It's definitely been here for a while. And you've got a towel. Now that's curious. You've got a towel hanging up on the inside. I wonder if there's somebody in there. <laughs> Should we look? Should we look? Oh, what do we see, guys? You're my eyes. What are we seeing? Is it cool looking? I gotta see now. I'm afraid I'm gonna cut my hands open. Y'all seen me with the knife. You can imagine how it's gonna be with broken glass. So it looks like it's a storage place for construction stuff. I saw a lot of boots and helmet, the hard hats and, and things like that. So they're using it for something, just not a church. It's got a new meter on it. All right, let's see what else we can find. It seems like everything and nothing has changed because the last time I was here, there was a field that had a bunch of really cool old stuff over there and that whole thing's been torn down. A lot of 
cool old tractors and bicycles and things like that that date way way back into the uh, early 1900s it looked like and all that stuff is gone oh look here's the uh the fire department the volunteer fire department emergency services So there's no trespassing. It's not trespassing until you go inside, right? You see over there, they've got a, got a basketball court and a playground. They got a picnic area over there. Somebody cares, they're, they're watering the grass. So that's a good sign. I'll see if there's anybody even in here. Ah. Uh, that's some old fire hoses. Looks like some radiators of some sort. Looks like this might be where they, I don't know. A volunteer fire department in a very small town. I don't know, it's kind of cool though. Wonder if there's a way we can see inside. See if there's any trucks in there. Well, I can't figure out a way to get into the building, which I probably shouldn't anyways. But look at this old beast. Now this is an old fire truck from way back in the day. This is probably, I'm gonna say it was probably back in the 1970s, if I had to guess. There are the old, all the old knobs and switches and the gauges and the hose fixtures and everything. Oh, wow, look at this. Can you get in? No, but we can look in. Look at that. Yeah, that's old school right there. There's probably no power steering on that thing either, or power brakes. You had to be a manly man to drive that bad boy. All right, the adventure continues. Here we go. I think we hit the jackpot. Pull over here. Looks like we've got a couple of houses. Let's see what's inside. Now, if you take a look at the structure like this with this wood and the old style of the, the chimney, you know this is definitely turn of the century style craftsmanship. This is how they were building these houses back at the turn of the century here in the United States. And after the house is long gone, this fireplace will still be standing. All right, I look for some long nails because I've got on tennis shoes, nothing too protective. Oh, look at this. Look at these old hard floors. Looks like this is where the kitchen was. I'm betting anything. Kitchen, this is the living room. Oh, look, there's an old TV console there's the fireplace come in here's looks like this might have been the bathroom i'm betting this is the bathroom what do you think guys bedroom well, that looks comfy nice artwork this is cool i'd love to bring some people out here and do photo shoots in this house that would be awesome take a look out the back door see what kind of view they had oh look at here plastic hangers now that has me curious in a house like this why why are there plastic hangers Ooh, what is this is this oh I thought that was Ooh, what is this let's see if I can get out here without putting a nail through my foot Is this a well? Oh, sweet. It's a well. How about that? Right outside. They're coming to get their water.
This looks like it could have been a barn or a garage or a workshop more than likely. I doubt very seriously it was a garage. It definitely a workshop. Could have been a garage. Yeah, it looks like there's car parts in here. This town is very, very mysterious to me because given the timeline that I've read about, this starts off before cars, then before plastic hangers, and pretty much everyone's been gone out of here for some decades except for some few people that are moving in back over on that end of town and most of them live in trailers there's nice rv trailers they're bringing in some of them are moving into the houses and redoing them but not these houses so to find that with car parts and plastic hangers that's that's pretty interesting to me oh here's another one can we get in i just want to show you guys if nothing else no nope. Got a nice lock on there. Keeps an honest man honest. I'm not gonna go breaking any locks and anything like that. If it's open like that over there and it doesn't say specifically stay out, well, no, if it's not locked. Okay, let's move on to the next stop. Let's see what's next. All right, here comes a good old American freight train. Take a look at this, guys. typical length of one of these freight trains is about a mile long so convert that from miles to kilometers I don't have those numbers in my head probably like I should what is it 2.2 kilometers I think or something like that I don't remember That one, yikes. I don't even know if I wanna go in that one. It's open. Let's go see. A little, little kid's bike. Hello. Oh wow, look at this. There's shoes on the counter. Some furniture. This has got some carpet in it. Oh, look at that. Got a little stuffed animal and a little, oh, look at that. A little bitty shoe and a little, a little stuffed bear dog thing. Oh man. the bathroom now this is a little bit more modern I probably yeah the, there we go with the plastic hangers <laughs> what is the deal with this town I know and I do know that back in 2001 there were I think like eight storms or a series of storms no uh, storms that came in and uh, was brought in like uh, like eight inches of rain in two hours and I know that that did a lot of damage to this town. And I think that's a lot of what this has to do with people who were living here probably around that time because they just had to abandon everything. So now it's starting to make sense. Yeah, they got shoes, there's just furniture everywhere, just stuff. Look at all these shoes. They definitely had a little one. Yeah, everything's just abandoned. They just, they just picked up and left. Cause they had no choice. Everything was destroyed. Like some of these houses, I can't tell if there's anybody that lives in them or not. It looks like at one point it was a really nice house. I just don't know if anybody lives there now.
or lives there legally. I don't know. I've got some old stables here. Over there in the back, they're torn down here. Look like. Got an old windmill they used to use for drawing up water out of the well. Cool looking wagon. Looks like somebody actually lives there. Ah. And here's something that I want to show you. This. Coming up right up here, I'll show you. This right here. This was this served, this was built in 1912. This was the old uh, when they built it, it was made to be uh, an elementary school and a high school. And I believe there were two teachers and 46 students, if I remember reading that correctly. Look at that old creepy thing. Look at that. 1912 this building's over 100 years old and this was from what I understand back in the day that this was built was a very very upscale school this was like the state-of-the-art school building for the time oh remember when I said something about no trespassing what does that say Here we go, look at this. It's, a, it's hard to tell what was what. I mean, it looks like this was uh, the gymnasium, obviously. Yeah, they've got those old heaters up in the corner. Um, you got some, the basketball goals still hanging on the walls. Bleachers. Oh, wow. Look at this old place. Look, there's a stage up there. Look like they uh, might have done uh, where they did uh, assemblies and plays and things like that. You know, the old... Uh, Build electrical boxes. Check this out. Look at that. It's the big old switch. What's down there? <laughs> I really don't know. The last time I was here, I was up here. I didn't even know this was here. We gotta check this out. Uh, there we go. Oh, <laughs> this looks this looks safe, right? Yeah. If you're watching this video, you know I made it, right? <laughs> oh, it's not that bad down here. Oh, what's this? Ah, the bathroom. I'm guessing the boys' bathroom because it's blue. Look at that old shower. The toilets, toilet stalls. Let me get a light here, see what's going on. Oh, yeah. Another shower. This looks like it might have been an old entrance, like a side entrance to the, to the school where they could just come and walk straight down the stairs and then come into the, uh, come into the gym class, I, I guess. What do we have in here? Vacuum cleaners. Ah, this is the boys' bathroom. There's the urinal. I was in the girls' bathroom a minute ago. Oh, look at there. 
Rub a dub dub, three men in a tub. I love these old windows, those big glass cubes. I love this old style. I love coming into old buildings and looking at stuff like this. This, this door has me curious. What is behind the big yellow door? I know that door is gonna slam shut and I'm I'm gonna crap my pants. I just know it, I can feel it. There's a draft coming through there. <sighs> oh, anything exciting going on in here? Ooh, strong smell of rodent. Oh, dude, there's bats in here. Oh my God. Oh, look at, look at the, the bats. Check them out. Oh, there's bats in here. Uh, that's creepy. Uh, can you guys see that? Can you see them? Ah, one flew right by me. <laughs> oh my God. I hope you can see these bats. Look at that. That is insane. They're all, oh, there's hundreds of them under here. Oh God, okay. I'm out. <laughs> ah, they're coming from everywhere. Oh, geez, I gotta get out of here. Uh, yeah, I don't know how well you can see those. I really hope you can, because, oh my God, there had to have been, there was hundreds of them in there. Uh, and it's not that I'm necessarily afraid they're gonna bite me. It's just the creepy factor of the whole thing, and I really don't want to get bat poop on me. That's gross. Okay. All right, uh, I think I'm gonna go find a place to die now. Whew. Okay, yeah, that was pretty crazy. And, oh wow, I don't know that if I started a Jumanji game, just like the bats, I don't know if you can see it, but there's like hundreds of bees right outside the door here between the truck and me. So now, am I on a mission? to find another way out because this whole porch is covered with bees and they don't look happy oh god oh there it is look at that hive way up there oh my god look at that it's two of them all right all right nope here, here we go i'm gonna do this i'm gonna run and hopefully they're not after blood here we go oh god bees bees everywhere okay maybe i was being over dramatic Maybe I wasn't. Okay. Yeah, I gotta go find a place to uh, calm down. Bats and bees, swarms of them, all within two minutes of each other. <laughs> Guys, I can't handle that. I wasn't prepared. All right, guys. Whew, I think I found a place to lay myself to rest and this video right here in Toya's very own cemetery. I took a walk around looking and uh, I probably one of the newest graves that I saw that I saw was in the 40s. The thing that I really that really kind of bothered me was the infant mortality rate back in that time, back in the turn of the century. I, I can count, I can't even count on one hand just right in this small area, the number of infant graves. I mean, just we're under a year old, maybe coming up on a year, and uh, people dying in their 20s and most of the people dying up in their 40s. And that was it. That was the end of life for them back in the turn of the century. A uh, very hard life, very low, very short lifespan, and unfortunately a lot shorter for some. Well, so I hope you guys appreciated this little tour through uh, through the ghost town of Toya, Texas. It's uh, been struggling for decades and decades, and a uh, better part of 100 years just been struggling to barely stay alive. And I hope that one day that uh, in the right industry would come back and they can start revitalizing this town and get it back to the way it was. And maybe preserve some of the cool things, even that creepy old high school over there. Because, man, you just don't want to lose some stuff like that. All right, guys. Anakam Brikam Busef, and I will see you on the next one.